Alabama is in the heart of the Bible Belt, and many times when people have nowhere to turn, they turn to their faith. And because pastors are so close to people in need, some faith leaders are getting together to learn about resources as a way to help those who are having mental health crises. Our Simon Schusler shows us how the religious community can make a difference as a part of our ongoing series on mental health. Whenever somebody comes to Eugene Jacobs for advice, he usually has an answer. He's the pastor at Union Springs Missionary Baptist Church in Talladega, and guidance is just another part of the job. One day, however, he got a question he didn't know the answer to. I'm struggling with addiction. How can I get help? They began to lose faith in me, uh, trust in me to be able to help them as a spiritual leader. And then the more time it took for me to be able to find that help for them, the more time they had for other influences to creep in. Jacobs decided he never wanted to be in that situation again. He got involved with the program sponsored by the Agency for Substance Abuse and Prevention called Faith-Based Support Specialist. It's designed to give faith leaders the tools they need to support those in addiction. I just needed the information and I was so so. Our job is to bridge the gap between the faith communities and the mental health communities because we believe that prayer, prevention, treatment and recovery do work together. In places like Dallas County, the unity of faith is one of the most effective ways to mobilize. According to independent research organization PRRI, Dallas County is about 89% religiously affiliated compared to the national average of 77%. Maya Talbert works in the Dallas County court system and sees the need for faith-based programs firsthand. Faith-based uh, programs are so important because um, faith is intricately a part of who we are. It's, it's woven into the fabric of not only our communities but our nation. Individuals that are in our pews or synagogues or um, wherever our places of worship are, they have individuals that have addiction or mental health and need their services. Pamela Butler also recognizes the reach faith-based programs can have. When there's nothing else around, there's usually a church, even in the most rural of areas. By having the faith-based community to come in, first of all, we're going to get that message to a wider group of people. They bring in new partners in that community. Now church so-and-so is part of that system of recovery and resources in that county. A community with deep roots in Alabama being mobilized for change. Simon Schusler, WSFA 12 News. And if you want to get involved, faith-based support specialists will be holding a training conference at Selma's Wallace State Community College branch on December 5th and 6th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.